Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Fall Tolerant Tutorials. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up remote desktop on your Kali Linux system. Recently one of my projects required to set up a Kali Linux machine and I had to access it over remote desktop and I, whenever when I tried to install XRDP on the Kali Linux and I was not I would try to connect using remote desktop, I was not able to connect it properly and it was going through some kind of error after this login window. So I googled around and I found some many different ways of doing it but finally I figured out what the real problem was and I had a workaround to fix this problem and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to do it in a very simple easy steps so that you don't have to spend the rest of your lifetime figuring out what is going on. So I will tell you here is the answer the problem the reason for the problem was your genome desktop. XRDP and genome desktops are not a good combination. So what I had to do is to uninstall the XRDP and install LXD. LXD yeah we call it LXD LXD and genomes both are nothing both are like uh, a graphics interface for the Linux if you google around you will get to know more details about this one so what I have to do is to uninstall genome and install back install LXD which is not coming by default with the default uh, uh, Linux distribution of Kali Linux okay so I'm going to go step by step procedure how to do it if we, you can see here the desktop from the default Kali Linux uh, copy will be different from what I have it right now in this system now it is already working and running perfectly without any problem so uh, without much delay I will go through the step by step procedure what I did okay, how, uh, now you have to remember that in this system it is already running perfectly so I will not go through all the steps which uh, uh, taking a lot of time so I don't have to spend that much time so I'll just only explain the steps what I did and uh, probably you'll be able to figure out the rest of it so first thing is that we need to update and update the apt-get apt-get update and presenter if you are connected to internet probably you'll be able to get updates it's taking too much time for me so I will just skip this procedure like if I want if I if you need to skip any one of these procedures like it just what you have to do is to press the control C it will skip the pro skip the step and it will uh, come to the console so again if you want to continue somehow sometimes the Kali mirror gets stuck somewhere due to overloading and too much traffic so in case if it gets stuck anywhere what you have to do is just run this command again or once more time so it will come around and it will go through all the steps you don't have to worry about if it gets stuck in, in my middle also so it's showing it's taking around uh, seven minutes to update this one so I'm gonna skip all this and now I'll go to the step uh, anyway okay let me write down this one step number one Up, get update okay step number two will be up, get upgrade is always a, a good thing to do whenever you get time or free time on your Kali Linux it goes it will update all the patches and everything and let um, it will upgrade to the latest version of whatever application you are using whatever application it is available on your Kali Linux okay you have to go through this one up get up get okay once you finish the complete anyway it's gonna take you around 10 20 30 minutes depending upon your broad internet connection so it took me around 20 minutes to finish this job all right now step number two I'll just copy this one here wait up, get update step number three will be up to get this DIST update this will be your step number three you have to update the dependencies just paste this one here yeah, it, it, maybe it will take around uh, 
half an hour half an hour 20 minutes depending upon your internet connections uh, for me it was around 700 mb of files to get download after that you go directly install xrdp step number 4 is apt-get install xrdp right now I have xrdp already installed in the system so wait So I, I, I don't have to necessarily go through the steps again so but anyways I will show you the demonstration it's already installed it's showing here XRDP is now already the newest version another way to check the XRDP is installed in your system is using this command XRDP-V it will also show you the latest the version number of the existing installation okay now the next step is you need to start the service uh, you can go service start xrdb start i will not the press i will not press the enter right now because my service is already running i don't want to another initiate another uh, pid for this one so we just i will just keep this step and i'll copy this one to here so that you can follow the steps again step 5 up uh, get in solux after this one uh, service x rdp start okay next step will be assessment start you need to start a session x rdp assessment start Alright, these two steps probably I will not do it now because it is already running condition. I don't want to disturb the and also I am now right now live recording this. So I don't want to disturb this one. Anyway, you just blindly follow, follow these commands, okay? Step number 7. You need to update update rc dot d xrdp enable this is just to update your uh, startup entry with xrdp so whenever you start the linux uh, if you shut down your system and start again you need to start this xrdp by default next step is to remove your genome step number eight apt apt get sorry so again get remove genome dash core which is already I have done it in my system so what you have to go is just 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 put in the comments just just copy and put these comments okay press enter it will uninstall your genome core which is by default coming with the Linux uh, Kali Linux so I'm not going to do this step again here what you have to do is just copy and do the steps in your system next step is to app get in install LXDE core LXDE LXDE and call it defaults then call it root login and desktop base so just check again you need to install lxd core LXDE sorry again here only on X LXD space call it defaults call it root dash login desktop base okay this is also now I have already installed in my system so I will not go through the steps here step number 10 step 10 
update alternatives dash uh, okay. update alternatives dash config x dot on session manager okay this is one of the trickiest step what you have to follow i'll just show you in this step what you have to do if you put the commander it will show you a couple of options which is depending upon your systems wait is there something error with this one i think you have two dash okay now if you see i have already selected the session manager x session manager as lxd okay and it's in manual mode by default it will be under one genome so what you have to do is depending upon your numbers which you are coming here you have to choose lxde and put it in uh, select that number so for me it was four so i will select that four here and press enter which is already have done so i will not go through these steps again okay i'm going to skip that one but you can put I will copy this one and uh, I'll put it here so that you can just follow the page and select. Okay, just you have to put the number. Put the selection number. Okay. Now step number 11 you have to reboot and I believe if you follow the step properly you will not be any, having any problem fixing the problem with the remote desktop in your system I believe if you have I believe you will be able to connect your remote desktop like this with this one so i'll just uh, save this file and i'll put it in the youtube download link download link below or in the description okay, i'm going to close this one and close this one and i'll show you after rebooting what you have to do is you have to go to your remote desktop and find okay wait wait i forgot one more thing uh before you uh i'll just log in before you restart uh you have to figure out even after resetting also what you have to do is you have to find out your lo uh, local IP address or IP address of your interfaces which you want to connect so if I put IF, IF config how uh, two connections here one is this is my wireless LAN which is connected to internet so I will not be using this one and I will be using this one uh, okay 192.168.1.105 subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, I'll be using 880 Ethernet 0 which is nothing but my LAN connection to connect to remote desktop so okay uh, after restarting your Kali Linux just wait for the login window to appear on your Kali Linux and you know the IP address already right so what you have to do is type in the IP address and keep all the remaining settings as it is don't change anything if you want you can save it into your desktop just like this so you have what you can do in future if you want to connect just double click this one so I will just connect and keep this selection as X O R G always and connect type in your root username and password or any username and password it, uh, for me I will suggest you don't use the root username and password for remote access just create uh, another user and uh, use this one bus use that one so anyway now right now I have only this user available so I'll use this one use the username and password and then press enter wait for one minute okay here is your desktop okay it's much faster when you compare to the genome and the other thing okay I don't know what that is anyway so you have all the steps here okay right just right click and open with text editor okay. you have all the steps here and I hope by this I will end this tutorial
in case you have any questions or doubts or any comments just put it in the youtube comments and feel free to share this video anywhere you like thanks for watching have a nice day